love the look of tile. I'm joined today by Rick Minozzi. He is the owner of Rick Minozzi Construction and Contracting. You and I have been friends for a while. And I have to say, when you and I get together and we talk about building products, one of the things that we really like in a home is tile. Absolutely. And, and we're seeing more of it in, in different places. We're seeing it not only on the floors, but on countertops as well. And, and you've installed a lot of tile over years, haven't you? Quite a few pieces of tile, yes. Yeah. Now, as far as tile, you know, I love the look of it, but how do I keep it clean? How do you, especially in a kitchen, how do you keep this surface clean? Tile is simple to keep clean. You wash it. It's fired. It's hard. It's a very clean, sanitary surface. Tile is easy to keep clean. So I don't have to do anything special. I can just mop it down with a mop? Mop it down, and the best thing you can do is towel dry it when you're done picking up the dirt that you moved around. Okay. I know a lot of people are telling me in today's world they use these steamers. Perfect. Sanitary. All it is is water. Picks okay. it back up. So you can steam your tile. Now, does it hurt your grout if you take a, a push broom or a broom and you, and you sweep your grout? Does that hurt it at all? Well, it doesn't hurt it, but what you're doing by washing your floor is, if you look at grout, it's always lower than the tile. Right. So you wash the tile. Tile's real beautiful, clean. Where did you push the dirt? Right. To the low grout. point, and that's why a lot of times your grout is discolored. Well, that leads me to that question. You know, in my home, you know, we cook in the kitchen. We drop sure. a lot of things. We have tile, and I love the look at the grout. But over the years, we have picked up stains. There's different, you know, just gunk in it. What are the methods that I could take this grout and kind of ref bring it back to life? Are there ways that I could do that or am I stuck with the old dirty grout? Well, in my years of experience, I found maybe five different options. Okay. The first option is the worst scenario. Cut the grout out. You're take all this out. Take it all out. Huge expense, absolute mess, and very time consuming. Okay. And you're probably going to want a professional to do that. Okay. Second method we have come across that we've used in the past, uh, you can stain it. Okay, so you actually paint it or stain yeah. this grout. With a little artist brush, you're staining it, yes. The next one would be using a latex product. Again, using an artist brush, latex is a paint, and through the course of time, we have found that it will peel off. Okay. And then there's another one that we buy in commercial places that we deal with, and it's called an epoxy. Okay. Again, paintbrush, artist paintbrush, you're breathing terrible carcinogenic fumes. It's very caustic. Okay. And it's two, three weeks on your hands and knees painting that tile. That's why tile installers don't want to do that. Now, you've done this before. What, what do you use? What can, what can I use to make this a lot easier, simple project? There's an acrylic resin. Okay. This is an acrylic resin, so it doesn't bond to the tile. It will bond to the grout. Okay. Can I show you? You had to do it? Sure, I'd love to. Take well, me through the process. Well, with, with any kit, that one blue bottle there is a deep cleaner. You dilute it, put it in your own squirter bottle, okay. and just spray the tile. One of the things I like, Matt, about this is everything's water-based, biodegradable. Okay. It will not hurt you. Got it. They call this their deep cleaner, and what this is doing is taking any oil, any soap off of that grout joint, and opening the pores for that resin to bond. Once you spray it, let it set two to three minutes. Lightly scrub brush it, dry it with a towel, you're ready to apply your product. Okay, and what's the product? You what's can the turn stuff any color with this to any color. Okay. Any color will go over, it doesn't matter. So you can match your color, you're gonna put a fine line of the product, get it on the tile. Remember the other ones, you can't do that. Okay. Take the brush and all of this stuff comes in that kit with them. Oh, you just, so you are painting it on. Right, but you don't have to be so cautious. Okay, so I can just rub that in along the grout line like rub that. Rub it in. Just like that. Okay, as right. long as you do it on an area that you've, okay. Right. All right, so that's a mess. Take now what do I do? Damp chamois, lightly wipe over it, and you're done. So I put this on. Now, what happens if I have this on my countertop? So, it, you know, and I spill something on this, is it gonna hold bacteria and dirt and grime forever? I'm glad you asked me that. This grout joint was done on this tile board. Okay. That's soy sauce. Oh, I, I hate when I have to clean that stuff up. This is red wine. I think you know that both of those stain anything they touch. Okay. You could rub this in all day. All right. It just beats up So I can just wipe top. this off like that? Oh, get out. That is so cool. So this is one way that you can change your grout into uh, a new looking grout without doing all that digging. Now, I've done that before. I've actually tried to dig out grout before and it takes That's forever. Right. So this is one method that you could use to change out your grout system. It's a method I use with my company and it, it, it works very well. But can well. I do it? Absolutely. So do it yourself or it's can do this project? Product. 
That's awesome. Now you said that this will last forever, It'll but, last. but what, can I scratch it? Is it durable? You can't scratch it or you once can't, it, once it's cured? It sets in 20 minutes after you put it on, you walk across your floor. Okay. From the instructions, they recommend that you don't wash your floor for 36 hours. You don't take a shower if you used it in a shower for 36 hours. That's when it completely cures. Well, I was going to ask you real quick, can I use this in a bathroom application? Can I do tile in Absolutely. the bathroom with this? So if I have mold and mildew, you know those black dots that I try to scrub out with bleach? I'm glad you brought that up because every one of these color seal, this is not a color agent, it is a color agent and a sealer built into one. Okay. But it also contains a constant acting mildecide. Oh, so it's going to kill mildew that's already there. That's right. The deep cleaner will kill the mildew. The product will never let the mildew grow back. Oh, that's fantastic. Kitchen counters. How many people have ceramic tile on their kitchen counter? Oh, a lot of people. Wife sets her spoon down. Yeah. Grout will, is porous. It's going to hold the germs and the bacteria. It's going to grow in there. You set your spoon down. Now bring it to your kitchen table, set it down, and what did you do, Mom? Transfer germs, not knowing it. Fantastic. But with the mildew side in this product, it, it won't allow mold, mildew, or germs to, or bacteria to grow. Okay, so just to recap, when you have tile like this, the best way to clean it, you can sweep it off, you can use a steamer, you could just wipe it down, you're saying with a, a, a sponge mop or something Absolutely. to get it clean. If you do have grout that is damaged, there are products that you can do. If you want to take some time consuming, you can change out your grout by cutting it out, but some of the methods that are available for do-it-yourselfers can save time and money. Absolutely. And it's it's going to last a lifetime. Absolutely. So why wouldn't you want to do something like that? It just seems like it makes sense. And I've done plenty of these products and I hate doing it. I understand. And for a homeowner, pennies on a dollar, you have a brand new floor for life. Okay, it sounds great. It's very affordable. Rick Minozzi, thanks for joining me today. I think I'm going to go home and I'm going to try to change out my grout. I, it looks so dirty and you're saying I can fix it. I'm not saying I know you could fix it. Okay. Well, you're quite the guy. Thank you. Thank I appreciate it. Thank you very it. much. It's a pleasure being here. All right. Let me clean this off a little bit. I think we've got a little dirt on it.